Welcome back, sports fans. I'm Jason Wapaki. And I'm Emily Turner, and you're watching this week's edition of Cal TV Sports Shorts. This past Friday, the Cal women's water polo team faced the UCLA Bruins in the first round of the MPSF tournament, which was held on campus at the Speaker Aquatics Complex. With a close game throughout, Cal was unfortunately defeated by the UCLA Bruins 4-3 and thus marked the end of a very up and down season. This is the second year in a row that the Bears have failed to make the NCAA tournament, so let's hope with their new stellar incoming freshman class they can turn this around for next year. Go Bears! The number one ranked Cal rugby team is set to square off against BYU for the Varsity Cup National Championship this Saturday following their 74-6 victory over Navy in the semis. The Bears are 21-0 overall and 5-0 in conference play as they look to continue their bid for an undefeated season. Cal and BYU are two teams that epitomize the best of American college rugby, and on Saturday, the Bears will look to continue their national dominance en route to their 27th all-time national championship. Last Thursday marked the start of the NFL Draft, which was exciting for Cal and NFL fans alike. Notably, four former Cal players were selected. Former Cal wide receiver Keenan Allen was picked up in the third round, 76 overall by the San Diego Chargers, while Brian Schwenke in the fourth round was picked up by the Tennessee Titans. On Saturday, former Cal cornerback Steve Williams went in the fifth round to the San Diego Chargers as well, while Mark Anthony went with the Baltimore Ravens in the seventh round. Three other former Cal players that were not selected in the official draft signed free agent contracts with other NFL teams. Running back C.J. Anderson signed with the Denver Broncos, defensive lineman Aaron Tapodi agreed to terms with the Buffalo Bills, and defensive back Josh Hill committed to the Arizona Cardinals. Well, this was a very successful draft for the California Golden Bears, and we're all looking forward to seeing their future success in their professional careers. Go Bears! Once winners of 22 straight games, the Cal softball team find themselves struggling against conference opponents. They're 9-9, this time being swept by the Arizona State Sun Devils. The Bears must now turn to their bats for much-needed offensive production to make up for the loss of their ace, Jolene Henderson, who suffered a knee injury in last Sunday's home game against Oregon State. The Bears haven't been able to do this thus far, tallying just an average of five hits in each of their past three games. Their next test, however, will come against the Stanford Cardinal in their final home series of the season this weekend. Well, that's all the time we have for today, sports fans. I'm Emily Turner. And I'm Jason Wapaki. Make sure to tune in next time to get your download for, for What's, what's up, up in Cal Sports. Cal sports.